Things have gone really intense now with seeing this latest chapter of Black Clover. I mean, holy hell, fucking back to back, seeing the main villains and also as well getting all the Magic Knights for one big reunion. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about in this chapter, so let's just jump right into this one. So the first thing we get to see is like all the baddies reunite. Like, I mean, Asta was there trying to take every single one of these guys on. And I'm not going to say, I've got to appreciate that. Even when he's got his like, like rival there, like the million trying to back him up. These two are literally going back to back against each other. And he's just like, okay, I've got allies. I'm going to learn from my, you know, my master right now. I need to learn from, you know, big fucking brother from the you know, over there. And like I say, I'm going to go calmly wild on these guys. Like, I'm going to go like that. It's just, I love that shit absolutely and then you know little vermilion decides he goes there and not to mention as well silver's there she's there like i'm gonna back you guys up as well as you're trying to take that down like i absolutely adore the bit where vermilion just like goes in charging with the fire like that ass is going in swinging like that he's really trying to go and it shows like these guys have a lot of like variety on magic like they have like like forests and stuff like that they have their, like this weird salamander thing that was like absorbing like the silver family's like sort of like the little mercury thing that they shooting out it was like these guys are really uh, fucking powerful as hell seeing that they able to take down both vermilion and Aster at the same time kidnapping and I'm like what the fuck like these guys are absolutely insane like wondering who they are and we find again our uh, name Eye of the Midnight Sun which that's a bit of a weird name you love the Midnight Sun that, that's a little bit weird but it's like honestly yeah that's the official translation for them and like you know what that's pretty cool. I'd say that's the name it is. Like, are there dumber names or another way? But it's like, they really looked like some Organization 13 from like Kingdom Hearts or something like that. That's what they really look with all the robes and everything and all that. They just look like they got like, instead of black robes, they just got white ones instead. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I can go with this. Like, and even when you get to see like all the Magic Knights return as well, like just to see that they actually had to combine their powers just to even get there. Like, they knew that like, they wasn't like thinking like, oh, they're too arrogant enough to like work together to make something like they made like this giant ass ship that made them like fly bass and it's just say like yeah they they all hate each other and you know they all have their own goals but they realize you know the one true objective that they got and all of them can actually back up and realize is that they want they need to protect the kingdom and they that's their true desire and they're like yeah we may be dicks and everything we might like have our own separate goals and all that but we know when shit gets down we need to work together and they even were disgusted with what they did but they know what's you know on the line here and they're like yeah we can't like put a petty little like arguments of like family and royalty and everything on the line right now and it's like when they try to go back like they try to fight these guys and that's where the whole thing with the salamander came in like it actually took on the silver standard like little mercury rain and it like absolutely did nothing to it like they, they like summoned like this little salamander thing it absorbed it but also gave it like this dark magic item as well to like increase its power and i'm like this is very interesting i don't think we've really seen dark magical items in the series yet so very curious as well not to mention like the ally like, silver's like, like whole like war magic as well getting absorbed into the forest thing and get just absolutely annihilated like these guys are very masterful with their grimoires and they really show that yeah they're no fucking joke i mean they took aster like it was nothing i mean they also had like rabbi like there as well like he was the one that was going against aster and he was summoning like fucking mad shit and all that like with all the dolls and what have you with his defensive magic and what have everything as well like they already showed that you know especially dealing with like the witch as well like you know they had some powerful people under their breath so it's no joke to see that these guys like they can take on magic knight people they're they're hella strong so i'm really looking forward to see what else are we going to exactly see from these guys and what really what else they can do i think honestly they're great and so to see that aster the main character got kidnapped like you know it's our commission as well so no way he's going to be doing anything like i don't think any of the other like like members like you know aster's group group is going to be there with the guild and all that so i don't think they're going to be there like the magic knights as well they're still a bit flustered to say like what the hell so is the next arc that we're going to be getting in the series, is that going to be like a rescue of Aster, or is like Aster going to go nuts or something? Because if you remember, they did mention that stuff about the whole demon from the first chapter of the series, so maybe they might pull a Naruto, you know, with the whole thing saying, oh, like, you know, Aster's the guy that can taste the demons in there, or maybe this is the swords that, like, sealed him, and it's like, now that Aster's in a weakened state, that the swords, like, you know, they now start to come out. Like, there's a lot of things that you can do with it, and, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, it's like Naruto and all that, you know, going on that, but to be fair, 
how many like series and show that like like how many have had like demons inside of them and all that. I mean, Inuyasha is literally a fucking demon like that. Ichigo's got a hollow inside him. Like the only one I know that doesn't really do that with like is like L Luffy from like One Piece. Like, but yeah, like what do you think? Do you think that demon might be the whole thing about like, Asti? Do you think that's going to come out? Is that the only way he's going to get out, or do you think the next arc is actually going to be like a whole little rescue plan to actually get the main character back? I feel like that's still a very risky move for the series to do. We you know especially now that you know it's still kind of very early on into the series and that could really affect it you know because may, that may be why a lot of the japanese audience really like it. i mean i see like black like clover do very well in the rankings every week and all that it's always getting you know fifth third the occasional first as well like you know so maybe taking the main character out of the equation for a while that could affect things but then as well that could also work out because you know you could develop the other characters the other houses and stuff like that would be an interesting move, but I feel as well, maybe you should always keep an eye and see, like, you know, what Ass is doing, or maybe you should be berserk, like, or just do this a very short, like, like I said, it's still there early on to, like, take very big risks like that and all that. I mean, look what happened. I think a lot of people kind of lost interest with D. Greyman, as much as a great, fantastic story was, like, D. Greyman, it didn't really focus a lot on Alan Walker for a while. Like, the whole thing, like, the whole manga for a while was literally called Searching for Alan Walker, like, arc, and... Yeah, a lot of people lost interest, I remember seeing from that stuff. So this could happen the same with Black Clover. So, you know, it could be the whole thing. But honestly, it was a really great chapter this week. I cannot wait for 35 to go out. Please, I can't wait to see like, what exactly is going to happen. Like It can go so many routes right now, and I'm really excited about the next week's like Black Clover chapter. But honestly, I give this one an 8.5 out of 10. It was a really great chapter. Like This is stuff I've been wanting to see Clover for a while. Like Definitely now breaking into its own thing, and I really love that. And it's like... Let's see what's going to happen now. We're going to get some, like, Jin Cherokee shit like that. We're going to see, like, like a Nine Tails thing kind of just come out of, like, Aster and come out. Or are we going to have, like, a whole little rescue arc now? Like, uh, they're curious because this, you know, the whole thing with, like, you know, the whole invasion arc it was pretty goddamn solid if that's the, if this is the finale of it right now. But that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.